on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. <laughs> I never knew buying could be this much fun. I know, right? Yeah. <sighs> But, uh, are you sure are these uh, uh, Tamaranes, or at least your sister, will still come looking for you? Oh, yeah, she will. Especially since you left a message. Huh? Yeah, she's gonna feel like you challenged her. Downright. Huh. I guess I kinda did. Yeah. So. Hopefully this is in the whole uh, war. I mean, don't get me wrong, your species seems formidable, at least the ones with quirks. But Tamaranians are natural warriors, and... <laughs> huh, but didn't you say y'all tried the peaceful thing? That, yeah, and that pretty much got us, you know... Almost completely annihilated. So yeah, we are not making that same mistake twice. Hmm, yeah. I think with your dad. Well, he didn't expect me being part of the deal, but now that he's gone, my sister's trying to... Well, I'm pretty sure she won't. Be able to find people to catch you now, <laughs> right? Are you so certain about that? What do you mean? I mean, yeah, my sister is someone who likes doing things sometimes behind the scenes, you know, like a puppet master or whatnot, but she is still a Tamaranian and she is a fighter. She as good as you? <laughs> Maybe a little. Really? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, who's stronger physically wise? Her. Damn. Uh, who has more usage when it comes to the energy you shoot out? Her. Oh, damn. So, chances are, yep, you to fight with someone who's not one to really be taken lightly. Not to mention, if she chose, she could start a war with Earth. I did not think all this through, now did I? No, especially considering you technically mocked her attempts. I did? Yeah. If anything, she's probably going to if not kill you and enslave the rest of Earth, or kill everyone on Earth and enslave you. Why? Wait, why? She loves dominating people. Or at least those she sees as weaker or lower, or lower than she is. You don't say. Oh yeah, she's a control freak. Uh, this, uh, Manetta told me, uh, about this weird thing called, uh, s and <laughs> Yeah, she's, she's the one controlling the whips and leash. Don't, I thought I told you not to talk to Manetta. Well, he gained some respect for me. He doesn't deserve it. That may be true, but still, I'm surprised he actually survived my assault. That is worthy of praise. Hey, I can take your punches. Yes, well, he's the size of a baby. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. So... 
Ready to go home. What? No, I'm not going to tam back to Tamarion any time soon. No, no, not that. Mm. I mean, my home. Oh. Sure. Yeah. Very least. Hmm. I have an idea for if I ever really do want to head further into space. Hmm. I'm listening. Do you know what, um, let's see, how should I? <clears throat> Fernathian is. Fernathian? Hmm, no. What is that, animal? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Special kind of animal. Huh. Alright. Wait a minute. <sighs> Don't tell me this is a hole. What? It's a civilized race of people that Tamaranians don't typically get along with. Uh, go on, tell me the truth. <sighs> yeah. And you wanting to beat them up or wanting us to beat them up is because it'll be fun. Okay. Anything else? Well, <clears throat> there's this one in particular that I really, really want to be down. Okay, what's his name? Valior. What kind of a name? Uh, don't, don't worry. <clears throat> if anything, I would love to be him up in particular. Why? Because he calls me this ter this name that just pisses me off. Well, what's the name? I don't feel like telling you. It's... It's not a nice one. Really? Yeah. So, at the very least, it's a racial slur from what I can tell. Yeah. Yeah, do I need to catch you up with some of Earth's history? You have no idea how many racial racial slurs we humans have for one another. But wait, so I thought he all humans were from this planet. Oh, we are. <laughs> then the wait, why would why would people from the same planet? Well, that's, that's mainly because, you know, they have, people have different views, different cultures, not everyone can get on the same page, plenty of things are, can separate uh, people, and, yeah, Earth has its fair share of separation, sadly. Sounds terrible. Well, if people could just stop being so stubborn and, you know, try to get along better. No backstabbing, no lies, no underhanded deals or, you know. But, at the very least, Uh, 
looks like there's a lot about Earth that I still don't know about. Yeah. So, hmm. Would you mind teaching me? Huh? Well, I don't, like I said before, I don't plan on going back to Tamaran anytime soon. So, while I'm here, you could at least teach me more about Earth. Uh, um, really? You don't... <laughs> Uh, uh, what? Nothing. I just, you kind of caught me by surprise. Well, it's just a question. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But, um, you know, just a question I wasn't ready to answer. And Starfire just walks out to Izuku and gives him a pat on the back. And just, I'll see you on the ship. Let's clean up the rest of this. Izuku's like, is it wrong that I kind of want her to give me a kiss on, on the cheek or something? Oh, damn it. I've been spending too much time with Mineta. Yeah, even that is surprising considering we barely talk. As soon as they do appear back on Earth, Inko's there waiting with her foot just tapping on the saw concrete. Just, uh, where were you? On a distant planet. You know, and uh, really, was it memorable? Starfire, yes, it, it very much was. The battle was wonderful. And Izuku has taught me a little bit more about Earth culture, as I taught him about a little bit of ours. Really? Oh yeah. How long is it going to take us to get to that planet again? Mm, two weeks. Really? Oh yes, that... May, Hatsume, friend of yours. She is very good when it comes to technology. Yeah, that sounds like May. So, where are you planning on going next? Oh, just, just a plan that we would uh, do some more fighting. More fighting? What? Why? Why would, why would you want to fight more? Why wouldn't we? Uh, mainly because, uh, it's not, how should I put this? Fighting isn't the best way for you guys to get to know each other. Um, then what would you have us do, Miss Midoriya? I don't know. Go on a date, go to the beach or something. A date? Oh, you mean those fruit things? Um, are they big enough to ride or do we have some growth? That's not what she meant, but... Wait, I I Izuku, have you not told her what a date is? No, I it didn't really, it, it didn't really uh, cross my mind. Oh, well, don't worry, I'll explain it to her. I'm, I'm going to do it regardless. Fine. Now... Uh, Starfire. A date is when two or more people who enjoy pe each other's company more than, you know, with other people. But what's the, then what's the point of having a 
more than just those two. What? You say the uh, a day is when two or more people. So, <sighs> anyway, a date is when two people, there you go, who uh, enjoy each other's company, or at least like each other, spend time alone, away from any other distractions, just enjoying each other's company. But, oh, in that case, we've had lots of dates, haven't we, Izuku? Minus the, our time with Katsuki. What? Yes, each of our battles that we partook in. Not the same. Not the same, my dear. Not the same at all. Are you sure? Because I do enjoy Izuku's company. And it, fighting alongside him does feel better for, than uh, if it was with someone else. Izuku, upon looking at Inko, he's giving her a thumbs up, like, thank you so much. Inko just walking, yeah. Well, do you like Izuku? Yes. Well, what would you say to being his girlfriend? Aren't I already his girlfriend? What? Yeah. I mean, he's a boy and my friend. So, boyfriend and I'm a girl and his friend. So, still not the same thing. Um, <sighs> He's so cool. At first, I was on, well, I'm still on the fence where to back this or rock a girl. But considering how much more comfortable you are with this Miss Starfire, wait, Oraga liked me? Either way, <clears throat> no, this is what a girlfriend and or boyfriend is, Miss Starfire. As a much needed explanation is given to Star, hers, oh, so you mean like betrothed or engagement? Yeah, 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 kind of, kind of. Oh, huh. I never really thought much about it. Really, we just fought alongside each other. Like, as she recalls some stories her father and mother used to tell her about how they would fight alongside each other from time to time and enjoy people's company. And uh, several months in. Blackfire was conceived. Uh, I, um, wait, I, what was it? I, I just realized, um, wow, I am dense. Wait, what? <sighs> y yeah, um, uh, Miss Midoriya, thank you for the explanation. I, I gotta figure some stuff out. Starfire just shooting off like a rocket and leaving Yuzuku and Inko with a mist. Let's say a shit ton of questions. And yeah, it's weeks until Starfire even comes back. Yuzuku was actually worried as all hell, saying, so Don't tell me she got captured or anything. But it gets instantly weird. Because now Starfire won't uh, leave him alone. She likes spending every moment with him. Zuku's being all weird. He's like, what happened to you? I decided to, for this patrol thing could work. For both of us. 
but uh, what about your sister? What about her? Uh, okay, so as she kisses him on the lips, in front of you go, not giving a damn. As we cut to Starfire, chained up, unconscious, and that's why I'm leaving this shit off. I can't wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? I did say I was going to do this for, I was going to uh, post this for my members only. Oh, so lucky for you, members, you get to see this one first.